I created a code review game show and invited my Twitch viewers to participate. The premise is simple. Viewers submit projects in my Discord, and we choose one to review live. I hunt for the best and worst parts of those repos, and the entire time, chat is voting on whether to hire or fire them, based off what we've seen. But there's one twist. You see this bar here? When a contestant gets 80% higher votes, this bar turns pink. And if it's pink when we finish the review, that means they get to list me personally as a reference on their resume, job title and all. I'm putting myself on the line here, so you're going to want to see how this one turns out. Discord is a clone of Discord that I made in a team of four. Would like any critique on the code or UI and some insight on if it is resume ready. You're in the right place. Okay, not bad. Now the only problem is, uh, d yeah, thank you. Okay, we've got foresight. This is pretty nice. Here's a brag, grow some hair, what the heck? I'm catching strays, I've got hair, man. <laughs> Technologies, language plugins use, nice, to-dos, nice. Build and run the project, fantastic. Looks good, looks pretty solid to me. And it seems like chat's kind of chat's kind of agreeing. Oh, that's tough, that's tough, that's, that's a tough one. I'm not gonna lie. Node modules, what's up with node modules being? <laughs> This doesn't look like it's all your node modules, so why are there some node modules? No node modules ignored. It's a little bit of bad Git hygiene. It's a little bit of bad Git hygiene. It's way worse if these are modified. If these are modified versions of these packages, that's that's a tough one. We can maybe get through it. We can maybe work it out. I see Flask env env .example. Oh god, thank god. I just got so scared. I just got- Dude, I wish- I wish that I was wearing a live heart rate monitor. Thank God, thank you for not committing your secrets, okay? <laughs> I see that you've got a CSRF token, which is good. I'm probably not gonna check how you do your CSRF tokens, but it is nice to know that you have them because that shows an awareness. This is really positive to me. This is a positive signal to me. Some prints in the code, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Logging would be a little nicer, but that's okay. The reason why logging is nicer is that you have log levels and you can like set things in the code and you have like a nice fixed format that's like searchable. It will come with timestamps, all of these things. So again, nitpicky for sure. Not a hire or fire signal to me, just something for you to be aware of. Password, nice. And I'm just gonna go ahead and assume. Oh no! Does user do it? Where does user come from? Hashed password. Whew. God, you're scaring me. God, you're scaring me. Whoa, we ended up in the fire zone. What happened? What did I miss? Fire on behalf of Brad's cardiologist. <laughs> Are we salting them though? That's a good question. I'm trying to check if it salts it by default. So it has a salt length that you can optionally provide. It defaults to 16. Looks like yes. Looks like defaulted to salting. Boom, we got to check. That's a good sign. We've got a lot of the CSRF token stuff going on. I think this should be a middleware, maybe, in some capacity. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'm worried that you have to do this all over the place, right? There are many places we've seen that are responsible for doing this exact CSRF token parsing and everything, so I'm a little bit worried about that. From a security perspective, we really want to get this in a place that we know it's always happening. Oh, no, not the commented out code in production those are future features that are commented out yeah i don't know about that i don't know that i would do it that way personally i think that in general code in the repo should just be code that's running in production that's just me given the rest of the repo i don't think the rest of the repo has been weak so it's not something that's a major red flag to me but i it is something that if i were you i would try to remove that and track that type of thing in an issue or a dev branch or a dev branch okay here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at chat and then we're gonna end it. There's one thing that we gotta check. We got 71 closed. Ooh, it's not looking great. Oh, we got PRs, no description, and they're called dev. I only looked at this because you specifically called out that you have contributors. You specifically called out that you have contributors. This is the only thing. This is the only thing that I, I wanted to see. I was really, I was really hoping. I really wanted this. Your commit message? Oh no, wait, what do the commit messages look like? Are these making it into prod? What do the commit messages look like? Okay. No, the commit messages are sensical. Nah, 
finished? I don't know about that. I really, really think that if you're going to work with people, you will be a like 30 times better developer if you practice this. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put uh, one minute for our final votes. We're not going to look at anything else. We are closing the voting right now. You just scraped by with a hire. You just scraped by with a hire. No pink bar, but just scraped by with a hire. So because no pink bar, but you scraped by with a hire, you get a nice roll in my discord that is going to change. It's a vanity roll. <laughs> it's a vanity roll for now. We're going to try and get some, get some perks in there. Okay. But for now, it's a vanity roll. You get a roll in my Discord that says that you're hiring material. You scraped by. Is it a strong project? It's a strong project. I would be proud to have this on my resume. I think you've done great work. And I really appreciate you bringing it out to the stream. This was super, super fun. You can tell because I'm 15 minutes over the stream time. Uh, it was a great project. And I really, really appreciate it.